utilities. Yeah, now this utility is going to come through. That Molotov is it going to get thrown here. It is frozen. He has to decide if he's going to swing out here. He does. Gets the first kill and the second oh. somehow finds that flick on Deroy. That is disgusting from Frozen. Ice cold while on fire. And now it's a 4v3. Hooksy, Jabby, and Nikodos. They're going to find a way into this site. They're going to get the bomb down, but they're overwhelmed by these CT players. Nikodos over towards Sandbox here. Has a pretty decent position in... In the, as well as Yabby here trying to swing in, but Torji, he's going to find him. In a terror, and now it all comes on this mid hit. Uxi, he's going to need to find something, but being Mash, he spots him out completely blindsided. Two man advantage now for Maus. Yeah, and Zyphon, he's just been sitting here waiting for someone to give him the kill, and he finds it eventually on the Torji. He had a bit of a look in, just poking this slowly. Going to hear this bomb go down very shortly. Now he has the read. He can just hold this angle. See if he can catch Yabby when he tries to get away. The flash is going to come out. He spots the shoulder. Forced off the angle, but Yabby, he hasn't escaped yet. Another flash. That's going to allow him to get out, but not without a bit of damage in, tr in turn. And now Frozen, he knows that flash came from short. He's going to be clearing it. Takes down Xiphon. Fantastic clear. Now Yabby, one on three. That bomb, it is planted for him, but so many players to find. They do get the trick. Side and once again, a ramp. We're going to see this time and time again. Potentially, time and time again, it's frozen, getting even more frags. Early man advantage and really well-placed utility. Yeah, these M4A1Ss, they're an absolute menace here on ramp. Just spamming through these smokes, no traces, no way of really knowing where these shots are coming from. And Frozen, he's exploiting it, finds two already, swings out, actually is taken out by Yavi. A great shot from him, but Torchy, he's here on the trade. Finds the first Nikodos with a great deagle as well. These hand cannons firing off the Copenhagen Flames. It's going to allow him to at least get one of these M4s. But once again, it's a one on three for one of these Copenhagen Flames players. Potentially has a chance here. I think Dexter might have jiggled him there. Potentially not. He might have actually slipped the net. But Mimas, he's going to spot him. Dexter swings out, finds the kill. It's much damage, probably, as JDC would have hoped for. But now here comes to say he commit. Roy, he catches Frozen blindsided, but the trades are in. Orgy and Dexter, they take control of Ramp Nikodos. I think he actually did spot out Dexter's head. But he's just going to escape. Not for long, though. Torshi finds Nikodos. Now the player advantage back in the way of Mouse. Siphon, he's always present in these mid lurks. Often can find timings here for the Copenhagen Flames roster. Has managed to slip through here, but Dexter, he has the read, takes him down. Great swing there. And now Yabby, he's going to try and activate onto B, but JDC shuts him down with that MP9. Hooksy now, he has to slip... Roy not opting for the CZ on the T side. He sees sense. But Torji, he's going to see Xiphon takes him down in his crosshairs. Bmas, he's up close. Can find a second as well. Oh, not quite actually. Nikodos, maybe going to get away here. But no, not quite. Bmas able to swing out. Hooksy does trade him eventually. Dex is still holding this line where he spotted Roy earlier. So as soon as Hooksy works out here, he's going to get spotted. And he does indeed. That's with the bomb. So they're fully aware this is a commit. And Frozen, he's just going to shut him down. Close lines him and takes him straight down. Swings out for the second as well. Why not? And the third, not quite. Yabby's able to deny it. Dexter is there. Once again, Mal's there throwing so many spanners in the works of Copenhagen Flames. Got to be a bit careful that BMAS doesn't lose his life over towards middle, but it's well-placed utility to once again keep Nikodos at bay. Yabby, he's going to get boosted up here. They might have heard the, the tick there, but Yabby, he's quicker. Takes down JDC. So they are aware of this now. Dexter, he's the only one here on the side. Has the angle, does take down Yabby. The rotation has come in. So Dexter has a friend here with him. Roy's going to get swung out though. Hooksy actually takes him down. Now, this is the duel. This is the important one. Bimas tucked in behind the generators, just trying to stay alive so that the rotations can come in. All of these T side players have been brought so low. That flash, it's fantastic. Bimas swings out. Hooksy's forced to fall back. And he has to run away with that bomb. Has to lurk out. And Torji, he's going to drop Nikodos down. If he catches the time, he does get spotted. Gonna fake it now. Has a chance to maybe make something happen, but Frozen shuts it down before it can even... And Zyphon, he's got a pretty good idea that there could be a player over here. He spots the gun barrel. So his intentions are made incredibly clear. What a round from him. Four kills. He's actually on for the ace. JDC, he's gonna walk on in and actually deny him. One versus two. This is still on the cards for the youngster. He does elect to go for this. He does have a kit, so there is time still available to him. Or he's posted up towards the sandbags and Hooksy. He's just over towards short. So, JDC, his, he's going to need to isolate these jewels. As soon as Hooksy spots, he's probably just going to tuck in and they will. Playing the time of running the clock down is the name of the game for the Flames. And Taken from Copenhagen Flames quite early. 
which hasn't really been the case so far. This could be an opening for them. Frozen, he's playing around here. Oh, Toshi, he misses the shot. They know where his position is now. But Frozen, it's his time to activate. Finds one, gets trade out immediately. Nikodos also there for a kill of his own. Toshi, he's going to get Molotov off this position. How long is he going to hold this for? Can't hold it forever and he has to fall back. Drops the smoke down and Nikodos going to spam him through it. And now it's just Beamus and JDC left. That bomb, it should be able to go down. Beamus could be able to catch this flanking player, but no, Yabby's going to deny him. And now just bomb site. Lovely utility placement just to really make Torji's life just... Matter of time before this round transpires. Fuxi here with the Mac 10 is in the right place to farm it up. Should spot this stack pretty shortly, and he does. Swings out, but Torji actually takes him down. Dex also finds one of his own, so that's going to be an AK brought over. In a three on three, but with that bomb going down, the CTs on the other side of the map, no armor. Probably not going to be looking to go for this one, but might try and deny this. Dexter, he's going to play around it. He loves going for these sort of cheeky plays. Looks like Roy might have the read on it, but Dexter actually catches him through the edge of the smoke, finds the opening. Fantastic kill there for Dexter. Bemas, he might be the one tested here. Gets Molotov off the window position. Torshi here to support. All the utility raining in from these mid players and the flash. It's perfect, but Torshi's shot, it's even better. Takes out Xiphon. I don't know if they should be aware of this second play just because of the amount of utility that came through. Nikodos has managed to get quite advanced here. Could disrupt things, but you can see there's so many CTs on this side of the map. They're all holding for it. And though he finds Beamass, the trade, it should be ready for him. He has spotted Torji trying to play around this, just looking for one of these players that's trying to swing on him. Gonna opt to actually fall back. JDC, he's holding the smoke as well. There's a player on the other side, but can't quite spot him. Yep, he's been protected by this so far. And things may be going to slow down here as we go into this three on four, but there's only 35 seconds left. Yeah, Cobra Hager Flames needs alert because the bomb is making its way over. They do decide to rest on the B site laurels because Yabby was finding all the contact, but suddenly, although the bomb has been planted, it's just Nikodos left alone and he can't get it done. They were playing with the rotations, the mind game. Ramp, these Vertigo games tend to go this way. Roy has pushed up a bit further though this time. And Frozen, he's had to get caught with his grenade out. The trade is there from Torji. And now Dexter can swing, but Nikodos, he takes him down. Torji, he's all alone here on an island. Needs to escape, but the flash, it's good. He's able to get back. Has the support of Beamass here as well, who takes down Hooksy. And with JDC taking down Yavi, it's just Nikodos and Xiphon left. And Nikodos, he's been brought down to 7 HP. Yeah, he has, and he hasn't got the AWP, so it's going to be a bit of a more difficult task for him because he's now on his own. One versus three. Come and hang your flames, they try. Playing around. Just the spam coming through onto Roy, bringing him low. But Torji actually finds him while he tries to fall off. So that's two opening kills going the way of the young Orpa. Now Beamus, he can activate spots too. Dex, they're going to swing out with that grenade. It's a risky one, but it does a fair bit of damage. And now swings out to find the kill as well. Drops Siphon. Fantastic stuff here from Mouth. Even finds the second. And Hooksy, he's left all alone. Can't take down JDC, but now it's four more to find. He's just going to try and accelerate onto the B side. But the rotations, they're fast and thick from Mouth. Already three here. Can find the first. Is they? Yeah, and they are in a good position here to find a tent. That's just the deco coming out for Copenhagen Flames. But we have seen what these deagles can do. Nikodos and Yori both very solid with these. Who's he going to go down early though? Frozen also finds Roy as well and Xiphon. JDC dueling it out here on the other side of the map. Kills going back and forth, but mostly all the way in the favor of Mouse at the moment. Yabby left all alone. JDC takes him down and a very clean. Double orb in the hands of Mouse. You can see Beamus has picked up one. Nikodos, he's going to find Dexter early on, pushing down ramp. That aggression, it's been punished. Torji, he's getting spammed towards, but Roy, he's actually going to find him as well through the smoke. And Frozen, he has to fall back here. Roy, he's just holding W, pushing forward, pushing the issue. But Beamus, he's already rotated over with this orb. Takes Nikodos down. Going to flush through for his teammate. Frozen swings out. I think they might be aware that Roy is in this position. They're going to flush him out, take him down. Turn it back into the three on three, JDC. He's the only one here on B. Has to put up a defense and manages to take down Hooksy. That's now the man advantage back in the way of Mouse. JDC, he's going to keep swinging. That bomb, it's being planted. He has to call it off. Si uh, in the place, it was a nice reactive defense. It was really well formed, but now, as Mouse, they head towards the B stairs. It's going to need to be the Copenhagen Flames defense, which needs to do 
one better. But Dexter fully blind. He takes out Yabby. Siphon, he's tucked in towards default with that swing. It's going to give away his position. Can't even get one for his troubles, but it's Roy over towards the Guardian position, just trying to do what he can. JDC, his lurk is activated, but punished. Three kills for the round. It's a two versus two. A couple of the Flames players have brought down so low, but Roy, another headshot coming in. He's on for the ace. It's now the IGL of Dexter to do it all for this mouse side. Just tucked him towards this double box. Uxie and Roy, they're trying to piece this one together. They have got a kit, so a lot of time to play with. They might blindside him here. He's not looking the right way, but they potentially line up, but it's Roy for the audio cues. And he spams through the smoke. They don't want to be falling victim to it. They will group towards the A ramp now. Nikos is such a tight line. And he does hit the wall bang. But that's about it. We'll go in for seconds though. JDC is eliminated and now all the attention. It means that Roy could try and activate, but it's still Nikodos. Just from this sandbags position, he's going to get naded out. He's going to get just completely capitalized upon. In fact, it's Hooksy that will end up taking him down. It's now a two versus three. It's still in the Flames' favor. There is a quick flank on as well from Zyphon. Torji, he's going to tap that bomb, try and bait them in, but Hooksy, he's not falling for it. He swings forward. Yeah. Deagle for Beamers and a Tech 9 for JDC. Also, actually, a few deagles come out, so there's a chance here they could do something. But Roy, he's going to find the first onto JDC, just post up in the angle. Going to swing out as well to take down Torji. And now sitting all the way down at ramp is Dexter. He's disposed of as well. So Roy, off to a fantastic start here, finding three in the round. Frozen and Bemis, just with these deagles, no armor. Looking to find any kills they can. Pretty well done by Copenhagen Flames. Roy, resurgence on this CT side, putting up such an incredible performance. Ne Looking at Torji now, he's got that AWP, he can be the one that opens this up, and he does, finds Hooksy, got the smoke down to deploy, Nikodos with the orb of his own, gonna be maybe trying to play around this smoke, just sitting behind it at the moment, holding the short angle. The rotations have all come in too, there's three CTs on the site. Frozen and Torji just looking for a way to put this one together. The smoke comes through. This is going to enable them to push up. Some counter utility coming through. The bomb plant, it's faked out. Frozen, he's going to jump up in front of it. Actually finds the kill onto Yabby. That's the full HP player going down. And he's even able to survive the orb shots here. Able to maybe get away. Actually going to play around it. Knows that Nikodos is over towards headshot. Just looking for the head, but can't find it. And now it's the one on two for Torji. He has no armor. Has to find these shots. Looking for the players, knows where at least one is. On that headshot position, the flick is perfect, takes down the head. But Siphon, he swings out and closes it out. Just 90. This time he's boosted himself up onto the scaffolding here. Has the support of Hooksy in with him, but no, it's going to be Hooksy actually gets the first kill. Siphon in there for a bit of support. The bows are going to reset over towards the beast. There's Yabby, he's just tucked in, and the flashbang is absolutely perfect. Another member struck off the record in this round. Two versus five. As Dexter looks to extend, he will find Xyphon, but that might just be it. Just going to tuck in here, just trying to see if he can exploit any angle possible. Dexter jumps over towards the wood, but Yabby potentially could spam it out. Instead, it will be Hooksy. Goes a little bit awry, but he does manage to convert. Whereas he has to pick up the bomb, and Hooksy, as soon as they take the kill, they just run away. That means that Mouse are going to retake, but instead, they're looking to set their sights on a quicker approach towards this A ramp. Nikodos tucked in towards sandbags. HEs will be exchanged, but will do more damage to these unarmored players. Grouping at the ramp still, and Maus are not going to be deterred by the utility. One for one trade. Hooksy goes down, but Zyphon on this elevated position towards mid. Hang on a second, BMAS, he's taken out the AWP player. That can be retrieved. Three versus three. Flames have rotated in, but Borgi and BMAS are going to swap guns probably at the worst possible time, but Frozen's providing Overwatch. It's now the man advantage for Maus, and there's a one minute left on the clock. Torji has managed to get his hands on that AWP as well. No armor, but he doesn't need it. If he just finds the shot, and he does on the Zyphon. Now it's just Yabby left alone, but BMAS, he's going to shut him to rotate off with that bomb. It's going to be an A hit here from the Terrace. They're grouping up on ramp. Nikodos, he's holding the line here. Has the perfect angle for Frozen, but Frozen's shot is even better. Takes his head clean off, and now he's going to clear through short. Takes down Hooksy. That's the site almost open up. It's just Siphon here, tucked in towards Crane. 
Is Toshi going to be ready? Siphon, he can take him down here. The shoulder is spotted, but the flick. Toshi takes him down. JDC can get that bomb down, and it's just Yabby left over him. here just to this eco buy. It's all on Yabby to open something up here. He's just got this M4, and he's going to go down immediately. That's going to open up the site and open up the round as so they can push forward th through here. Siphon is sitting next to Wood, but he's actually going to get spammed through. Bemis not taking any chances at all. Takes him down. Torji trying to be in. Being posted. The Flames, they come back. Still on the cards. They need to play a little bit better. Spam has to be careful. Roy can spam back just as hard and doesn't have any traces to show. But there's three players sitting on the T side on the other side of this for Roy. So really, he's the one that's in the dangerous position here. Nikodos has come over with a smoke of his own. Can re-smoke this. The clock has begun to tick down as well. Oh, the jump boost. I like this. He's able to get across and spots Roy. But Roy, he, he gets the kill. The shot, it's missed by Tor. Should have fires for days here, which makes this a really difficult prospect for Copenhagen Flames. But Roy, he's trying to make it a bit easier. Goes for the spray. It's a fair bit of damage onto Frozen. Nikodos, we've seen how powerful he can be from this position. Hooksy's actually going to find Dexter just spamming through the wall. Takes him down. So that's a great opening kill. Nick does not even need it to activate yet because these T players, they're slinking off. They're picking up that bomb and they're considering B. But with Yabby taking down JDC, this becomes really difficult. Frozen on the lurk towards A goes down as well. B Mass and Torji, they're left alone in this two on five. It's a lot safer for Copenhagen Flames over towards A ramp this time. Uxie just spamming through all the utility. Nikodos, he's posted up, but Torji will find Yabby. Let's not rule out Maus just yet. Zyphon, he's going to swing in, and Torji finds the shot once again. Surely not like this, Flames. You can't give up a five versus two. Nikodos, he goes begging, and Torji's hitting all the shots. How has this turned around? He's on for the ace. Hooksy, he's on a quick flank. But Torji is seemingly aware of it. He's going to look towards the stairs. Hooksy needs to avoid the crosshair. Game and time is right now. It's such fine margins and hooks. He finds the head, but that's his position given up. Bmas on low HP. He's elected for an AWP. Scavenged off Nikodos's body. Just gonna hold firm. No flash. The cross. It's in. And Mouse convert. They elevate this. Get that amount of margin. Nikodos though. He just overextends. He's trying to get information for his team. He feels like he has to back up against the wall. For the CT side, but that means the Beamus can capitalize upon it. Utility being thrown down over towards B, but that might not be the true intention. Just gonna hold on here as Yabby. He's now trying to extend twinned in with Xiphon. This is a scary prospect because JDC, he's just on the other side, but hang on. He swapped positions with Yabby, but he somehow finds Hooksy. This is all getting a little bit scary now. The attention being reverted because although it's caused so much chaos. The MP9, it now needs to hold the line. Torji over towards default. He hits the headshot and the wall bang. But the MP9, it's doing it all. Somehow this has all turned on its head. It's been a so chaotic round. And now look, JDC, he's over towards mid. He's flanking all the way in. And Roy, he just needs to stay alive. He just needs to tuck in, but he can't. This raid transfer is absolutely perfect. 20 seconds left on the clock. But where is Yabby? I think JDC has the read on this. You can see he's worried about actually ramping where Yabby comes from. Yabby can play this to his advantage. Knows that the bomb has actually been planted towards CT, but JDC, he manages to slip away. I don't think Yabby spotted him. You can see he's still clearing all these angles. I'm not quite sure where they're going to come from. The peak, they are revealed. So JDC has the position. Can 